And the cloudy skies continue here at Hotlanta. I'm your host, Dragonite Cole. Super E. And uh, if you, the racing was good, don't get me wrong, Cornflake. But this one, there's not going to be any such thing as good racing. There will be good racing, but there's going to be lots of death. Plenty of it. Anyway, we're here for the running of the Bass Pro Shops 500. Let's go over the starting lineup. Jesse Turner will be starting on pole in the Kodiak Chevrolet. And Kyle Matthews will be in the blue and pink Coors Light Pontiac. That is not the silver bullet because do you do you not do you see any hint of silver on this thing? I sure don't. Uh, so we got the Pokemon Road, Pokemon Heart Gold of Charles Sanford, and Pokemon Soul Silver of Jessica Shelton. Matching his car number in fifth place will be Josh Dixon in the Kellogg's Cornflake Chevrolet and Johnny Gardner in the Miller Life Dodge. Miller Light, same life. Uh, Miller Light, fine. Uh, Dr. Pepper Chevrolet of Ben Williams and Marcus Sachi in the Tide Four. Jordan Bell in the GM Goodrich Oreo Chevrolet. He will start alongside the Polyphony Digital Chevrolet of Nick Gunther. Some bear just decided to get in a car anyway. Body bear on the subway Ford and the Caterpillar uh, Pontiac of Leah Sutton. The Penske Dodge of Zachary Fetzwater. He'll start alongside the Racing with Jesus Dodge of Quentin Moore. Scott's Ford of Levi McIntyre and the DuPont Chevrolet of Tyler Deaver. The Texaco Haviland Pontiac of Ken Bell, who is still our points leader by about twenty-eight or twelve, or 12 points, points over Jim Gambit. He will start. He will be starting alongside last week's winner, Audra Baranowskis, in the M and M's Purple Pontiac. Hillary Sanchez, Napa Chevrolet, and the Jim Gambit, the in the Citco Ford. The Pennzoil Pontiac of Daniel Voiles will start alongside the 48 of Alex Ferranti, the Lowe Chevrolet. Kodak Max Chevrolet of Dewey Trickle and the Western Auto Chevrolet of James Qualls. Joshua Sikuli in the Bass Pro Shops Chevrolet. He will start alongside Matt Dixon in the Valvoline Ford. Rob Evans, Bud King of Beer Chevrolet and Chelsea Bowles, Bowl 1 Dodge. Philly P, the Philly Cheese Steak, Phil Parker in the Penske Dodge, and Jonathan Zorlin in the Skull Bandit Chevrolet, the car that won here uh, last season, but it was driven by Eli Bright. Uh, Jay Jefferson in the Pillsbury Pils Dodge, and the Salt Machine, Ignis Kersey in the Home Depot Pontiac. The Office Depot Chevrolet of Nate Bell will be starting alongside Jim Gambit. Quaker State Chevrolet, who is only two... Twelve. Twelve. Wait. Twelve points back. Thank you. Steve Morgan, Quality Care Ford, and Sky Commons in the Rubbermaid Ford. Uh, Dylan Young, Alltel Dodge, and the Lowe's Chevrolet of Jordan Strong. Some nub who needs to go to bed. Uh, Cole Deaver in the G Good Rent, GM Good Rent Service Plus Chevrolet. And Sean McKean in the Interstate Batteries Pontiac. And starting and rounding out the field will be the Racing with Jesus Dodge or Jordan Anderson and William Brock in the U.S. Army Pontiac. And I'd like to point out that this, this guy right here <laughs> is actually a Texas turd who just <laughs> crawled up into a car. Anyway, uh, Soup, we got 30 seconds. What do you, what are you expecting other than death? Good racing, three wide racing, and probably death. Do you have Junior's car graveyard yes. on speed dial? Yes. Do you have your, do you have the wills written out? All except for the three. Oh, fu funny. The 24 <laughs> is burning. Anyway, uh, the command. To be given. Drivers, start the engines. Still can't hear. Anyway, you need, uh, get, you need to get hearing aids. Man. You can't hear the command either. 
One day, one day we'll get speakers. Anyway, Jesse Turner, ironic he's on pole at a track that essentially took him out of a championship in season two. And he's going to have to come back here again, season four, to this track for the finale. Uh, I don't know if he'll be, will he be part of the championship equation by that point? All right, Soup, say those three famous words. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go race in the hot Atlanta, boys and girls. Also, what Jesse Turner, uh, also what helps Jesse Turner out, will be part of the shootout next year with this poll. He wasn't in the shootout this year? I mean, no, I'm just saying. He's automatically a part of it because he won a poll. Ah, good point. That will be a part of the shootout. Well, it looks like he won't be getting five bonus points because Carl Sanford, the guy who dominated North Wilkesboro. Who won Wilkesboro? Gunther. Oh, Gun Gun Gunther. I think it was the start of Gunther's streak. Gunther got around uh, Sanford. Mm -hmm. uh, Vetta Williams is going to go for the lead. Here comes Jordan Bell. Knows how to finish up runner up. Oh, he's gonna take a three. Not yard. not Steve Morgan level, but yeah. still. Oh, Bony Bear right there. Jo Jordan Bell has yet to win at an oval in Wheaties. His only win came at That's season a... three. And... Oh. Here comes Bony Bear, a uh, home uh, hometown favorite or hometown favorite home here. Home state. Favorite. Home state favorite alongside. Uh, Fitzy. Fitzy. Fitzy's gonna take the lead and here you can't have this you can't have this car without mentioning Atlanta. Yeah. Who did he uh throw the finish Hey, Kim Bell, the points leader, gonna take the lead. No, he's not. No, he's not, because here comes Hillary Sanchez. Oh boys. Man, they're 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 already racing like it's the final lap. And we're only lap four out of eighty two. Alright, alright. All right. Technically eighty three. Alright. First caution is going to be uh, over over ten or under ten. It depends on where they are. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say the over. Over ten. Give a location. Turn. Turn. Oh, Nate Bell. Nate Bell got wobbly loose back there, but he was able to get it back to the bottom. Who's going to lead this lap? Please. Rob Evans. All right, we're gonna take oh, yeah, it back. Jay Jefferson gonna take the lead in that Tilbury Dodge. Jay Jefferson, Depp at Jay Jefferson has had a better season in uh, Kellogg's as of right now. Uh, gonna try and lead the lap. Who led it? Uh, John Gambit. What was the margin? Ah. Right, two ten. Here comes Dylan Young. And don't look now. Here comes another hometown favorite, the Salt home Machine, state. home state favorite. And look, and don't look now. The Diva Boys are right there. And then right behind Tyler Diva is his teammate, who who trying to get those five bonus points to take the lead. Diva gonna take the lead. Ah, gee. No, stop it. Camera crews. So, why do we have such terrible camera crews? I don't know, because the operator of the cameras sucks. Or, or no, it's the guy who controls control the truck and the truck and the production truck. He sucks. Anyway, uh, Tyler Deaver takes his first bonus point, but don't look now. Here comes Jim Gamble, but that's not gonna, that's not gonna last, but here comes Nate Bell, who on a roll. Oh, here comes Marcus Sachi. Uh, and then William Brock, who won the last time we were at Atlanta. Please Cup last season. The, la the last of his four wins, I believe. Yeah. Oh, and William Brock is also another home oh, state. Oh, oh McKee! Oh, 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 no, they save it! McKean with the automatic good hands driver award right there. And he's going to go for the lead! He's like, thank you. Thank you for the boost. Bye. That wasn't no boost. That was... Man, if that, if that was a boost, somebody... That, that ain't Mario Kart. You can't be drifting like that for boost. 
Just saved him and Lee is something to work on half the field for it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone just like grit their steering wheel like really tight. Like, and here comes Nick Gunther to the bar. Here comes Audrey Baranowski, winner. And Nick Gunther right there. Bodie Bear back to the bottom. Bodie Bear coming back strong. Gunther's Gunther streak of top fives ended last week at Pocono. Now he's trying to rebound. But it looks like he won't be. He's gonna have to wait a little bit and lead. Some bonus points because Boulder Quake is on his way, and here comes Chelsea Bold. Bold look, trying to look, going into three. Oh. And we got, we got to pull the spectator cam. Ah, geez, I messed that up. Yeah, the 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 call it the the truck. The truck. Guy controlling cameras. They suck. Now, now Boulder Quake's teammate. Out in front, Sky Commentary. Here comes Jordan Bell and Hillary Sanchez back up the point. That 15, man, it's, it's been pretty good. Okay, this, here we go. That 15's been pretty good this year. I mean, had a couple solid finishes. Looking yeah. for that win. They haven't won since what? Season 1 Daytona 500? Yeah, it was that good. No, no, no. The, the Bud Shootout last year. Yeah, it was Sean McKean. Now we got Charles Sanford. Now we got to get back. At, dang it, wrong way. There we go. As much as I, that, that's for front racing, but we have to keep it on this camera to make sure the whole pack doesn't die. Uh, here comes Jordan Anderson. Uh, for the lead, and then here comes Joe! Oh no! We have sudden in another precarious scenario! Oh, Josh Dixon is in another pre- Oh, 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 oh we saved it. Uh, get, what is that with you? What is it with you people? They want to race, but y'all race it. Oh, I just realized we're getting close to when the, the first wreck happened in the first attempt. They wrecked uh, on lap 17. Oh, anyway, oh, here we yeah, go. We're, here yeah, we go. Steve Morgan trying to get the lead. Here go. Yeah, Steve Morgan's going to take the lead. Look, don't look now. Here comes Ken Bell. Has any, has any, who, has anyone up in the top part of the points led? I don't think so. Nate Bell? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think Steve Morgan. No, Qualls led the lap. Here comes Ken Bell. No, Steve Morgan led. Steve Morgan. Here comes Ken Bell. He might be the first to do it. If Rob Evans, if he can close the door on Rob Evans, which he does not. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna now we're gonna put on spectator. Who's here gonna lead Jordan, this? Here comes Jordan Strunk. And that is a clear mile by uh, Rob Evans. As we go back to TD one, Strunk ahead. Now Ignis Kirksey, the Salt Machine. Has he yet? Did he win in season three? No. Okay, he came See, season two is the last time he won the haircut. I mean, I mean, had he won this season? No. Okay. Last time he had won was season two at Texas. Here comes Zorlin. Here comes Quentin Moore, though. To the bottom. Quentin, Quentin Moore. When was the last time he won? Last year. I know he won last year. Last season. Last season. And Here comes Philly P. And now we got a Penske. Burger Penske. Train. Three of them. Parker, Young, Fitzy. Oh, remember in the first attempt it was the 12 and 0 the field. Yeah, the 12 dumped his teammate. Now he's moving out of the way. He got his bonus points. He's like, yeah, I don't feel like dying to my own teammate. Well, first it was the white Penske, now the black Penske going out in front. Australian sensation chalked him up five bonus points. And McKean, who pretty much clenched his butt cheek at one point. I think he led a lap. He 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 did. After nearly getting spun out by Lee. Yeah, he, he was the only points leader to lead a lap up at the top. You mean top of the point. Yeah. Here comes Daniel Voz to the bottom. Nate Bell right there. The 18 is leading this race. That's no surprise because Bobby Labonte did one six times at Atlanta Motor Speedway. So he knows how to set up. So he knows how oh, to do it. Oh, four wide. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Nate Bell. Oh, jeez. Boyle. We keep having close calls. One to, the next close call is not going to work. I mean, eventually, the luck's going to run out. Right? It has to. It has to. Now you got two Georgia boys down there being Cold Eaver and Boulder Quake. Um, 
Uh, now we got but Sean McKean's out in front. Nate Bell looking for his first uh, of five bonus points. Boulder Quake looking under Cole Deaver. And then Jay Jefferson, Sky Commons, Josh Dixon, Justin Bowles right there on the bottom, and Jordan Bell. Kyle Deaver in the sucker hole. I mean, he's been up there the whole race. Oh, who's going to get this lap? Uh, I think Nate Bell's going to get that lap. Uh, yeah. By, yeah, by, by, by a small length. Now, I'm I'm pretty sure Jay Jefferson's going to get this one. Nope, Sky Commons might get it. Uh, yep, here comes Sky Commons. Cole, Cole Deaver up in Larson Lane. We're, 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 we're 25 laps into this race. Please be quiet. I want some racing. But you know it's going No, we're waiting for the inevitable. Yeah. Shelp. Now uh, Jordan Bell looking on there. Jordan Bell is have, having a good season so far. Yeah. yeah he actually finished like in top 10 at... Uh, even three, I believe. Uh, Jordan, but, Jordan Bell is be, but definitely an improvement from season one and two. Uh, Here comes Steve Morgan. Uh, the, do, do we need an introduction to this man at this point? Nope. Oh, uh, here comes here comes rookie Joey Trickle. Car did win this race last year. Uh, won the fall race here, so they know how to get it done. Uh, who led the lap? It was Trickle. 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 Uh, here comes Matt Dixon, and here comes pole center Jesse Turner. Back to the bottom. And look who's right behind him. Yeah, Leah Sutton. Yeah, these two have a great history here. Lovely history. And by lovely, I mean they were both involved in a wreck while they were racing for a championship. Leah Sutton still won, though. Oh, I think... I... And to think, Je Jesse Turner would have had a better chance if uh, James Qualls didn't page him at Talladega. But... Speaking of Qualls, he takes the lead. Yeah, speaking of Qualls, there he is. Takes the lead. Here comes Jessica Shelton. But Sachi, Sachi going to make try to make the move. Sachi bringing the Taurus out today for RPM Motorsports. Being rubbed for three minutes or something like that. Here comes the Cooley. And then, uh, Venna Williams. Uh, uh, half of, what's half of 82 is 41, so about 41 42 because it is, uh, 83 technically. Who's gonna lead that? I believe Venna Williams is gonna lead this lap, but Baron Alskis is back out in front, so. Oh, geez, they're like four, they got like four wide back here. One point. Uh, leader of that lap was Ben Williams. Here comes Jim Gambit. He hasn't led yet, has he? Nope. It looks like he. Oh, I don't know if he'll do. It. He might. Yeah, he's gonna do it. So five bonus points cuts the lead to seven. Well, can My, I... minus the obvious, you know, where they finish. But Ken Bell's right here, so if he leads. That's basically going to nullify Jim Gambit's work. Which it might. Here he goes. To the lead. The 28 takes the lead. Here comes the 0-2. But I don't think the 2 uh, give, give me Ken Bell of that lap. Let, let that lap. Ken Bell does lead. So there we go. Jim Gambit just looked. Look. George Strunk, who has been shotgun in the points. Shotgun in points. Had not had the best of seasons set to start off. And here comes, here comes the Penske Freight Train again. Well, this time it's only Philly P and... Philly P and uh, Fitzy. Uh, Fitzy leads, Philly P Our gonna... Our boss has been stuck in the middle with the 24 for most of this dang race. Um, Daniel Boyle's now up the point, but I'm pretty Charles. sure Charles Sanford's gonna say something about that. Oh, oh he thought about blocking. No blocking! Here comes Mac and Cheese. Jesse Turner right there. He, John Gambit. Uh, this can't keep up, can it? Shut up. By my will. By will my... Your will is nothing. Well, yeah, considering we're... 
we're at the whim of fate and what other whatever oh. random number generator goes into this. And the computer AI. Well, technically, they, that falls into the random number generator. Anyway, uh, Nate Bell leads the lap, so chalk five bonus points up to his oh, points. Yeah. Here John here come, Gambit. Here comes John Gambit. And don't look now. Here comes Cole Lever, who's like, he's not far behind either. Dude, it's like from like first to 11, so it's like 100 points. So it's good, uh, so. And here comes Jesse Turner trying to take the lead. Back. Who, who and, led? Uh, I think Cole Deaver did, but it, but it won't matter because Jesse Turner and then... Uh, computer. Here comes... Ca camera crew. No, it ain't the camera crew. It's the guy in the truck. He sucks. Anyway, Nick Gunther, but don't... But... Uh, Rob Evans is going to say something about it. And William Brock's right there. Look out, boys. William Brock, right pat, going past his teammate. Who led the lap? Uh, what? I know it wasn't the three. Okay. Brock trying to trying to get his first win in the U.S. Army Pontiac. Sakuli is losing the field. Here. I think I think Sakuli. Maybe Sakuli's just biding his time, or that, or he knows something's gonna happen. Which I would say you you have your right to do. Like you're you're not wrong in doing that. Just don't do. We've seen a couple car. Close just to. don't fall so far back. You lose the draft. Well, he. Just with that, he's right up on. Um, uh, William Brock has now been able to secure the lead. And it's like what happens when the. I think the tires are starting to wear here. You need. You need. I mean, if you want a shot, you might want to think about that. That big wreck that might still could happen. As Alex Bronte takes the lead. Bronte. But uh, don't look now. Here comes Jordan Bell, and look, look who's right behind him again. Sean McKean, Joey Trickle right there. Uh, uh, Josh Dix. As, as the field can wave bye-bye to William Brock, because he's going to drop like a rock. Um, Jordan Bell back out front. Oh, camera Joey, goes. Joey Trickle. Joey, Joey Trickle, but I believe Josh Dixon may have something for him going in two. Yeah, there... Joey Trickle was able to close it. So Joey Trickle going to lead his first lap, I believe. No, I think he's left before. And still, another, even still, another lap led for Trickle. Oh, yeah, this is this, this is the race that usually we get the most lap uh, changes in this race. Yep. Now Jordan Anderson out in front, but don't look now. Here comes Leah Sutton. Hiller Sanchez. Uh, suit, you got that? Yeah, I got uh, it. You take care of that. I got this. Jordan Anderson out in front. And we have just hit halfway, ladies and gentlemen. And don't and don't forget, we still have pit stops. Telemarketer. Telemarketer, okay. But Warrior Warrior Alabama. I better not hear banjos from the phone. Anyway, uh Anyway, uh New Leader, Sue Matt Dixon. And Jonathan Zorland's going to take it. Well, Jonathan we Zorland trying to take we've it. We've reached past halfway. Yeah, I, I just mentioned that. Sue, another fact I want to discuss with you that is yet to happen, pit stops. Oh, yeah, we saw that play out in the cornflakes race somewhat. And also, and Matt, the, 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 if they slow up like this while they're going this fast, they could potentially cause a wreck. Uh, yeah, but uh, Tyler Deaver takes the lead. And he will lead. Okay, now Boulder Quake back out in front, and he got he got from the middle and he got to the inside and to the top. And now here comes our resident British girl, uh, Venna Williams. The lady, she's the the car. She's, um, she was you ding dong. Uh, Venna Williams can take the lead, and here comes Qualls. Hey, look. Look who's right behind each other. Not the 28 and 25. First and second in points. They're like... I ain't losing you. They're like fifth and sixth on the track. Ken Bell going for fifth. And, and Jessica Shelton to the lead. Shelton may lead her first laps of the race. Which but, he does. Here comes Dylan Young, the Floridian. He, no, he has not floored a man you hear about in the news. 
Ken Bella going to take the lead? Has Ken Bella left yet? Yes. Yeah, he did because he had to cancel. He, he practically canceled out Jim Gambit's, uh, uh, his five bonus points. Chalk another, chalk another points up to Ken Bell. The, the 24 is back in the middle. He, he's literally, wait, he went from the bottom to the middle, right? Yeah, he went from the, he was in the middle. He's been in the middle for most of this race. I mean, Johnny Gardner. I've been in the middle for most of this race. All right, where? Is Johnny that? Gardner is now on the outside. So he's Pretty gone. sure he's glad to be out of that middle. So, so, so cool, he's just. Thinking back here, Ferranti, he was up front at one point. Now, he hit all the way in dead last. Oh, well, just, uh, here comes the uh, Australian, I hope. Hey, here, I comes hope the, I... here comes the Penske twosome that just can't stay off of each other. Uh, I hope uh, Fitzwater's doing okay with all the wildfires in Australia. I think he's actually in New York. I'm not sure. 50, if you get to this point in the video, are you, are you in Australia or are you in New York? I, I know you have the Australian accent. I just can't remember if you're if you're actually in Australia or if you live in New York. Anyway, back but that back to what actually matters to racing. Uh, Fifty led last lap. Sachi coming to lead this lap. Fifty laps into this thing, buddy. Uh, that will mean thirty-three laps to go. And we haven't had a wreck yet. Shut up! Oh, it's gonna happen. Uh, Kyle Matthews and the not silver bullet. All right. Uh, and then here comes uh, here's the resident salt, the Georgia salt machine himself. Yeah, if, the, if the wreck's gonna happen, it's gonna come from the salt machine. Like, salty. like throw the banana out just to make the whole field salty. Oh man! Here comes now. Here comes Jay Jefferson in the Pillsbury Dodge. Uh, Cole Deaver and Billy Boulder quite back in the bottom. It seems like this is like. Restrict your place. You just find your drafting partner and go for well, it. They're going to restrict place. Well, yeah, they're going next week, but still, you just find your drafting partner and tango. So we have the 42 and the 43 out in front, and we had the 41 and 42 on the front row. <laughs> that's yeah. ironic. Anyway, here, but that's Sabco and not Petty. But here comes Jay Jefferson. Jefferson out in front. Will Colt will Colt even make a move? Probably not. Jefferson Jefferson gonna take the lead. Colt Evers looking. Boulder Quake may go with him. They got Nick Gunther right there. Who Gunther is yet to lead a lap, I think. Uh, oh no. Forty bears gonna fall. But yeah, but it's like a restrictor plate, soup. It's like Russian roulette. You just Spin the wheel and hope you you're gonna be on you're gonna be in front by the end of this. Gunther going down low. Boldy Bear leads. Boldy Bear probably gonna lead the lap. Zorlin gonna Zorlin goes under Quentin and put him in the middle lane. Cold Evers out in Larson lane. And Boulder Quake gonna try and pick him up, so they may be trying to draft with each other. And, so. they, and then they and then they found the resident salt machine right behind them. The three Georgia boys, well, not right behind him, but still. I mean, he was for a minute. Um, and five bonus points to Nick Gunther. So, now he has five bonus points. And remember, he's third in points, I think. Yeah, he, I think he is. There comes Laurelin. I think it's that polyphony digital car, man. I think it is, too, at this point. Oh, oh, oh Quentin! Quentin, is he on the flat? Oh, I think they're because they're coming to pit road. That's what happened. They're, Gunther, they're all coming to pit road. Gunther. Gunther's leading uh, Zorlin, McIntyre, Baronowski, and Sanchez. Now we gotta go back up here to where's the Q boy? Where's the Q man? He just hit the he pancaked it. Where is he? There he is. He pancaked. Oh, he's trying to get to pit road. Oh boy. He's gonna take. He's gonna. Take, they're gonna take oh. it. Oh, whoa! Oh, Ken Bell! Ken Bell! Oh boy! No, there, no there. caution! No caution! That that Tyler Deaver is smacking him! I think so. Tyler Deaver is just trying to get the pit road. And just lock the brakes up on him. Now who's leading? Who is leading? I don't know anymore. Uh, is it Jordan Anderson? No, it's uh, Rob Evans. Rob Evans! Here comes the second group! 
Uh, no! Josh, Josh, Josh Dixon's gonna lead! He's cruising, baby. He wants... Well, he got five bonus points, so... What, what the what the benefit of stretching uh, it? I don't know, man. He's got old tires. Hold on. Rob Evans was in second, so we're gonna see what is going on. My phone just went off, but I'm sorry. I gotta... I'm trying... I gotta race here, okay? We got, we got racing here. We got, we got to watch it. Oh, here comes, here comes the five. The five may have been able to stretch it just a lap longer. There's Nick Gunther. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. He would be, he's caught in a fit, and he's all by himself. I think he's the leader. If he can get past the five. Who's, in, who's, who's caught in at second? At this point, it was Venna Williams. Where is she at? Seven is currently... Oh, she's way back here. She's yeah. currently in tenth. I think Gunther's in the lead. No! Whoa, wait! What? Oh. Oh, they're okay. Still, they're still trying to... They're still trying to get it. Nick Gunther's... Pits early and cycles out as leader. And he's all by himself. I don't know if I like that. He's all right. By himself. Hold on. We got we got to check and see what happened. Ken Bell in 36 after that. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was... That was brutal. Who's that on pit road? Is that Brock? Something's wrong with William Brock. I don't know. Uh, who... Let's see where 24 is. He's in 33rd. You got hood damage? Might have a slight buckle. I mean, he's still racing, but that pretty much took him out of contention. Where's the 25? 28. So right now... Nick Gunther's in the driver's seat. Gut, yeah, with Ken Bell in 26. He's pretty much in the driver's seat right now. I think Chelsea Bowles also may have had some damage. And, uh... Q-Man, or uh, someone, one of the Penske cars, I think, was also caught up in that little incident. I think it had to be Brock. And there's a glitch with Brock. Oh, no, this track is glitched. Which sucks, because I like this track. Um, the 89 and the 12. Well, remember, the 89 hit, hit the wall... Yeah, he said they had to repair him, and I think it might have been Billy P that might have hit, been in that little yeah. wreck with uh, Ken Bell. This little group going for, uh... We go, we look, so there's Venna Williams, she leads the pack at eight, then you got... The two teammates. Six and seventh, and then you got the five car pack between... They've caught Gunther. Gunther? Oh, wait, go back to the one. Oh, oh. Oh, is he, he's out of fuel. Yeah, uh, the glitch killed him. The glitch spot killed... The glitch pit stall killed William Brock. So we're going to have to find a new Atlanta, which is kind of a shame because I like this track. Yeah. I mean, it only happens when we have green flag pit stops. Yeah. Which is, which is not often. And look who's going for the lead here. Steve Morgan. Well, he thought about it, but... There we go, boys. Steve and... Morgan does. Morgan tried, but now here comes the 99 of Mac and Cheese. Levi McIntyre, Jonathan Zorlin, and Willie Boulderquake. Literally the top five round out is, this is pack. The, is the 01 stuck on the track? No, he's trucking. Yeah, you can see he is trucking. He is going at seven miles an hour. That poor man. We go back here. Here's the leader. I don't think they're going to be catching... Um, yeah, Hillary uh, Sanchez is over three seconds behind us. Four Wait, seconds. Four seconds. Uh, where's the next slow car? It'd be Joey Trickle, which they are heading... They could possibly catch Trickle, Sekuli, and Qualls here. Right now, Gunther is just out in front. But uh, now uh, you say that now, and here comes Willie Boulderquake. 
Bold, hey there. Boulder, Boulder Quake, McIntyre, Zorlin, Gunther, and Steve Morgan round out this pack. Let's check on William Brock, see if he's made it any farther. Oh, oh, he teleported himself to Pit Road. Now, it, it's just a race between these five cars. Unless we get a yellow. Zip it. Zip it, bean dip. Um... This is, but the sad, sad thing is, this is, this is what's going to happen at Talladega. It's like, once green, unless there's some freak accident, unless they're, they're, once, once green flag pit stops hit, everyone's going to yeah. be scattered. Alright, what's the, what's the margin of between... Four seconds even? Yeah, they ain't catching them. Yeah, unless, unless we get that yellow... What are you zipping about yellows? Uh, let's go through the field, man. Alright, so... Right now, your top five is Boulder Quake, uh, Gunther, McIntyre, Zorlin, and Morgan. Then you got the battle for six going on with Venom Williams, Jay Jefferson, Arthur Baranowskis, Cole Deaver, Jordan Anderson, J.J. Lowe Sanchez, Rob Evans, and, and the Salt Machine. Then you got Kyle Matthews, Whatever spot this is, hold on, let's see. 14th. And he's ironically being ch challenged by the 14 cards. So they got Strunk, Bell, uh, Matthews, uh, Boyles, Commons, Bowles, and McKean in this fight. Back here, you got Jordan Bell, Josh Dixon, uh, Jim Gambit, Fitzy, even though. Uh, Quentin, Philly P, John Gambit, uh, Six, Leah Sutton, Leah Sutton, and Jessica Shelton. Even though the 12 and the 89 are laps down, then you got, then you got Sachi, Gardner, and Sanford, Tyler Deaver. Oh, William Brock's back out on track finally, and Jesse Turner. It's back here in 35th after green flag pit stop. And then you got... And then you got Jeff Trickle, Qualls, Takuli, and Ken Bell. They're going to catch... The leaders may catch Ken Bell. Well, Ken Bell is running with um, this little group, so he may be able to stay with them. Steve Morgan to point with eight laps to go. Here comes Zorlin. Zorlin hasn't last... I can't remember where his last win was, but he did win. He had three wins on the season. McIntyre looking for his first. Steve Morgan just looking to end the bridesmaid thing. Boraquake get trying to win since... Brist uh, no, Bristol. Bristol. Where was... And he won Richmond in Corporate Park. And Gunther just trying to get the streak back going. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, they're not catching them. Yeah, they're actually losing time here. Zorlin's out in front. Odd is a 33 went back to back in this race. Yeah, I mean it wouldn't be it'd be it'd be a coincidence, but it'd still be kind of cool. Eli Bright got his second win here. Zorlin looking to get his first of season four and to get his fourth win in total. I forget how many total wins uh, Boldy Bear has. I think he's won in every season. Yeah, yeah, because he won, he won two. Where did he win season one? Just Daytona? Or Daytona did he? and ORP. ORP. He won Daytona and Bristol at uh, season two. Where did he win season three? Wilkesboro. That's it. I think. So he has, he has a total six wins total. Then you got Steve Morgan, uh, and Levi McIntyre looking to bring that ninety nine some good luck. But man, that that man is in the driver's seat. Nick Gunther. Ken Bell's in thirty six. Uh, Jim Gambit's back in like 20-something. In fact, let's take a look. 
Don't forget about Boulder Quake now. He can have a good run. Jim Gambit was last clocked in at 27. He's in this little pack right here. So, Gunther is, this is Gunther for the picking. And he's in second. Coming to two to go. Boulder Quake trying to win at his home state. McIntyre. Remember, you can't count out this car and Atlanta. Here comes McIntyre. Here comes Orland. Here comes Orland. I don't know if Steve Morgan has anything. Don't know if... Eh, it could be. He could. White flag in the air for Bodhi Bear. Willie Boulder Quake. Oh, here comes Zorland. That's all Bodhi Bear wants to see. is side by side behind him. White flag for the bear. White flag for the bear. But, but no, McIntyre is right there. Oh, he was able to get there. I don't know. He's going to have to duck. Or he's will we see? To, he's going to have to block. Or, or will we see what happened yesterday? Hold on. Spectator. No. Willie Border Quake is going to win. Whoa. Willie Border Quake wins the Brass Pro Shops 500. Second win of the season for the Bear. The Bear has a champion. He's got his championship on his mind. Solid run for the rest of these gentlemen, but Boulder Quake seasons the day. Hey, Venna Williams, uh, no, uh, English Kirksey won that? Okay. Alright. Standings. Export. It is Wheaties. Just, just. Click this and hit 12. Wheaties S4 Race 12. Alright. Your official standings. Willie Boulderquake wins the Bass Pro Shops 500. Followed by Levi McIntyre, Johnson's Orland, Steve Morgan, and Nick Gunther. Then you have Ignis Kirksey, Venna Williams matching her car number, Jay Jefferson, Rob Evans, Audra Baronowskis, Hillary Sanchez, Jordan Anderson, Cole Deaver, Kyle Matthews, Jordan Strunk, Chelsea Bold, Daniel Boyle, Sky Commons, Nate Bell, Sean McKean, Jim Gambit. Uh, John Gambit, Zachary Fitzwater, Josh Dixon, Matt Dixon, Jessica Shelton, Jordan Bell, Leah Sutton, Dylan Young, uh, Johnny Gardner, Charles Sanford, Marcus Sachi, Tyler Deaver, Alex Bronte, Jesse Turner, James Qualls, Joey Trickle, Ken Bell, um... Joshua Shakuli, Phil Parker, Kim, uh, Quentin Moore, and William Brock. Well, that's going to round it up here for Hotlanda. Hotlanda here, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Boldy Bear on getting his second win of the season. Like you said, this may be a championship. But next week, oh boy, my favorite type of racing. Sue, we had no yellow. Yeah. I think cloudy skies are the way to go. Yeah. Until then, I'm your host, Dragonite Cole. That's Suit McGee. We ran a race at Atlanta without anyone dying both times, might I add. And the race came down to pits. So, Boldy Bear wins. Congrats. We'll see you all next week at Talladega. Take care, everyone.